mass. Again, our U.S. customary system, which is this one, stuff that we need, the United States. What do we weigh things in? Somebody ask you how much you weigh. You weigh so many what? Do you measure? Okay. We kind of have a pound. One pound. Which a lot of things don't make sense, but do you know what the abbreviation for pound is? I don't know why, John. LB. LB. I don't know why you, why would it be P? Maybe P stands for something else. Uh, one pound is about what, by the way? If, you, if I asked you to tell me something that weighs about a pound, what would you say? Good morning. Uh, I would say your book probably weighs a little bit more than a pound. Sophia? Well, I know, but you can't say that because a pound of anything would weigh a pound. I want something that, generally speaking, maybe a shoe. I don't know if it's not a big old boot. Matt, what were you going to say? Um, an ounce. An ounce weighs a pound? No, I think an ounce weighs an ounce. I think you're getting at this. We also have uh, one ounce. 16 ounces, which is abbreviated OZ, equals one pound. 16 ounces equals a pound. What's something that weighs about an ounce? I don't know if the book tells us any of these things. Uh, one slice of bread. How about that? One ounce is a slice of bread. Sometimes they said like a mouse, for those of you that carry around mice all the time. Um, a shoe weighs about a pound. And then the other one we have is somebody 2,000 2, pounds equals what? There. One ton. And the abbreviation I guess we use for tons is TN. And a ton, one ton is about a small car, not a big car, but a small car. So those are your kind of your things there. Again, why they picked 16 ounces to be a pound and 2,000 pounds to be a ton, who knows. But these are the ones you need to know that are the U.S. whatever ones. The other ones, the metric system, kind of simpler. I can move this whole thing. I can't. And then we'll make sure to put it down here. And I'll blow this up here. In the metric system, we use the, the one basic unit is a gram. And then you have. Uh, things that are smaller than the grams, and you have things that are bigger than a gram. Um, something that's smaller than a gram is a milligram. And bigger than a gram is a, somebody, kilogram. And there are 1,000 milligrams equals one gram. There are 1,000 grams, and that equals 1 kilogram. Now, some things that weigh about a gram. Anybody? Let's start with that. A gram, I've heard, is probably about... Anybody? A gram is about a paper clip. So if you divide a paper clip into a thousand little chunks here, you get one milligram. What do we measure milligrams? Something pretty common that you see milligrams in. Caleb? Like flour or sugar? 
Um, well, this is a little bit different. We usually don't weigh flour and stuff when we put it in. Measure. We usually take, we usually have like, well, yeah, measuring cups, so it's more volume than it is weight. I mean, you don't put it on a scale and say, the thing, directions don't say put in five grams of this. Usually you put it on you know, a cup that says a half a cup or a cup. But it, could, it probably is because what I was thinking of, things that we get milligrams a lot of times are medicine or pills. A lot of times you'll have a pill that says take 500 milligrams of whatever. If you look on your little pill bottles, they say we'll use tablets worth whether it's 500 milligrams or 1,000. 1,000 milligrams would be the same as a gram. And then if you put that all together, you get a kilogram, and that would be more of where you maybe find your book. A book, a kilograms, I may know how many pounds a kilogram is. You always want to give your weight in kilograms because you sound a lot lighter. A kilogram is 2.2 pounds. So if you cut your weight in half, that's about how many kilograms you weigh. So if you weigh 100, 100 pounds, you're about 50 kilograms or whatever that, whatever that would be there. So these are the ones to know. And like I said, the nice thing about the metric system is it's pretty easy to multiply or divide by 1,000. For example, if I said 7 kilograms would be how many grams? 7 kilograms. If there's 1,000 grams, make up 1 kilogram. 7 of them, Lauren, would be 7,000 yeah, 7, of them. What if I asked you this? 7 kilograms equals how many milligrams? Well, we know that 7 kilograms equals 7,000 grams. If there's 1,000 milligrams, make up one of these grams. If I have 7,000 of them, is that? 14,000? Negative. I have 7,000 of them, and each one of them weighs what has 1,000. Leighton? 70,000? Negative. Are we taking a shot at this? It's a big number. Now here, notice the beauty of the metric system. To go from kilograms to grams, you just added three zeros there. Guess what? To go from grams to milligrams, what are you going to add to it? I mean, adding three zeros because that's the same as multiplying by a thousand. Or which would give me how many zeros? Six. Yeah. There are seven million milligrams in seven kilograms. Because that's what multiplying by a thousand, when you multiply by a thousand, you just add three zeros on the end of something. For example, what is six times one thousand is six thousand. A thousand times one thousand is this thousand here with three more zeros on it. That's a million. That's not, that's not as easy to do as uh, in the US standard system there. Well, let's look at a couple questions. How about 10 pounds equals how many ounces? Anybody? 10 LBs equals how many OZs? If there's 16 ounces in one pound, 10 pounds is going to be what, Chase? 160 ounces. 160 ounces. Yep. Multiply by 16. It's not going to be like that. Or another question they ask, 16 tons. 16 tons equals how many pounds? And how would you figure that out? 16 tons. If one ton is 2,000 pounds, 16 tons is how many pounds? <coughs> Zach Roth says, are you just guessing? What do you do with 16 to get, what do you have to do? If one ton is 2,000 pounds, 16 tons is, Aaron? Yeah, 16 times 2,000. You do it like this. 16 times 2,000, hang up the zeros. 
and two times sixteen is thirty uh, thirty-two thousand. Look how small that was. All right, for tomorrow, there then children, lesson seventy-seven.